My client wants to put $50,000 to work in the Cleveland market because he's got an ultimate goal of allowing his wife to retire so that she could stay home and take care of their children. Oliver from Hawaii, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is our first show uh, coming back from the Labor Day holiday. I know that a lot of you are watching this um, probably, oh, I don't know, it'll probably be October or November by the time you're seeing this, but this is the day after Labor Day. That's the day my guy Oliver from um, Hawaii is watching this and uh you know, that's the day we're filming. So as always, I am your host, James Wise. That man behind the scenes is my audio guy, Tommy. Tommy, how was your Labor Day weekend? It's great. Had a good time. What'd you do, brother? Watch that new Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Ooh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, new Tarantino movie. Was it any good, dude? I haven't seen that one yet. I liked it. It was pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a bad Tarantino movie. For whatever reason, I didn't really like the Kill Bills, uh, but everything else of his uh, was epic, man. Ever since, uh, what was it? Ever since Reservoir Dogs, dude, I've been hooked on Tarantino. I just watched, uh, what did I watch? I watched Inglorious Bastards on Netflix uh, for like the third time over the over the weekend as well. That's just good shit. But uh, I don't know if these guys are tuning in to listen to us talk about movies, so I guess we're going to get back into the show. All right, Oliver, my man. Uh, I like your story. I like it a lot, actually. It's a very cool story. It resonated with me, right? Uh, you know, just going over your de uh, details here from your emails to me. Um, <clears throat> you are currently living in Hawaii, okay? You have $50,000 to work with. You're going to start your portfolio uh, out here in Cleveland. I know you already have, um, you own a single in Maryland, and then I think you said you owned another one in a duplex or something like that in Dayton. And this will be uh, your first p properties here in the Cleveland market. Ultimately, your goal, and that's why you resonated with me, your story resonated with me. Your goal uh, is to allow your wife to retire so she can take care of your children. You guys are looking to have children in the semi-near future. And when you have said children, you are hoping that you can make enough money from real estate investing to allow her to stay home with those children. Uh, that's very cool, man. As a matter of fact, uh, just a month ago, my wife and I, we had our first child, and uh, I saw that you work in the healthcare industry. Uh, my wife was actually a nurse, and uh, when we had our, our son, she was able to retire. You know, she doesn't work anymore. She's 28 years old. She no longer has to work, and she's able to, you know, stay at home and take care of our son. Um, so I have accomplished the goal that you're looking to accomplish, and it, it's very cool. Uh, it, it's a you know proud dad moment when you're you know you can um, utilize this real estate investment vehicle uh, to make enough money for your family that one of the parents can stay home. So I have accomplished that goal, and I'm hoping that I can assist you and your family in accomplishing that goal as well. Now, a couple things we gotta clarify though. <clears throat> uh, you have $50,000 cash, and you are interested in two things, right? You like multifamily. You're trying to go as big as you can, uh, staying in that multifamily space that allows you to still utilize the 30-year residential financing. Obviously, you've been watching a lot of the content we put out here on Holton Wise TV. Thank you for that. Um, I can tell you're following a lot of the concepts that we're trying to teach you guys. Um, the thing is, with... Uh, the rest of your criteria, uh, it's not possible, I guess, what I'm trying to say, it's not possible to do everything you've put on your list. So we're going to kind of have to pick and choose some things that actually make sense, right? Because 
you want to get multifamily, so that's two to four units. You're hoping to get, you know, four units, right? You want to get four income checks uh, per one mortgage as opposed to two. That makes sense. I understand where you're going with that. But you're capped at 50000 in cash, and on top of that, you, you have a moderate risk tolerance. You're not really interested in Section 8. You're hoping to stay in a C or B class area. So something's going to have to give here. We're going to have to uh, adjust your plan a little bit, but that's okay because I found two properties that are still very doable because I saw, too, in your notes to me, I got your email here with uh, your answers. I, I send, when you guys do these MLS search and analysis shows, just so you guys know, after you go on our website and you purchase it, I send you like a whole bullet point list of questions so I can get to know you, your family, your story, and, and really try to dive deeper into exactly what you want to do. Um, so, Oliver, you answered my stuff great. Which, by the way, one thing, guys, what Oliver did here, this is awesome. Not everybody does this. I don't know if you guys you guys see this. Uh, Oliver wrote his answers in blue. Sometimes you guys just fill in your answers and you don't, like, bold them or make them another color. And it's, it's really hard for me to read them. Uh, so if you guys could be like Oliver when I send this out to you, if you could, when you answer them, put it in bold or put it in another color. Uh, so when I'm, you know, standing here on the set, I could easily see where your answer starts and my question ends. Uh, so kudos to you for that, Oliver. Uh, okay, losing my train of thought here. Back into what I was trying to say. So with everything you're trying to do, Oliver, we have $50,000 to work with. We got to avoid Section 8. We want to avoid the rough stuff. You're hoping to to burr it out so you can uh, utilize this $50,000 as much as you can. You're trying to stack up your mortgages, right? You're a follower of my content, so you know that I love the two to four unit space, and I, I want you guys to fill that out. You've got a total of nine mortgages you can do, plus one for your primary residence, so that's a total of 10 mortgages. So your whole goal here is to try to uh, maximize your leveraging potential so you can get as much rental income coming in so that eventually your wife, she can retire, she can quit her job, and you guys can have one parent staying at home to take care of your family. Totally makes sense. Um, the issue with that is on the market, uh, $50,000 isn't enough um, cash, right? You don't have enough cash uh, available to you to buy something in the C or B class area that's also distressed enough that's going to allow you to buy it cash, renovate it, and then refinance it out. Your budget's just way too small, right? You got to understand, like, B class neighborhoods, these duplexes, right? You know, not even turnkey, like more or less in decent shape, uh, but still have some defects or their older properties. You know, stuff selling like 130, 140. Uh, sometimes we go up to $200,000. And then in C class, the very minimum duplexes you're seeing in C class are, you know, in the, not, I shouldn't even say 75, because 75 still going to require like 10K worth of work, um, typically. And, and one of those is similar to what I found for you. Actually, both of them are pretty similar, like 75, 80K range. That's what I found for you, and that's where we're going to get in, but like all the way up to 100 in the C class. So, uh, 50k it's just not going to be possible so we're not going to be able to take your 50k have you pay cash and then get all that 50k back so after you purchase one or both properties you're not going to have um, that 50k left and that was another one of your questions in your email you asked me is it possible uh, to actually buy both of the properties um, so that is something we're going to be able to do the two properties i've worked worked for you worked out the numbers for you uh, I've got a whole plan laid out where I can take your $50,000 and we're going to stretch it as far as humanly possible. And by doing that, we're going to allow you to pick up two duplexes. So you are going to get four income checks coming in. These duplexes are not necessarily duplexes that are so beat up you need to burr them out because uh, that wouldn't make any sense. Again, there is nothing that you could do where you'd have to pay cash. And it, you just didn't have enough funds. So you're going to need to utilize those loans up front. But with the down payments, you should be able to pick both of these up. With that 50K, you're going to get into both of them. We're going to get you four income checks, and you'll have a little bit of cash left over to do some repairs to really increase that value, get you some serious equity. Because both of these properties I found for you today, neither of them are what I would call 100% turnkey. I chose two properties that has a value-add component to them. Both of these properties have some serious upside for you. So what I want to do right now is quickly go to a word from the sponsor of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the details on the first property.
Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. All right, Oliver, welcome back, brother. Let's check out the first property I have pulled up for you. As you'll see, we got it on the screen right here for you. 4508 Alpha Avenue, Newburgh Heights, Ohio, 44135. Now, Oliver... I'm guessing based on the fact that you seem like you are a pretty loyal fan to Holton Wise TV and you watch a lot of the content, you're probably already pr pretty familiar with the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Anybody watching Oliver's video, in the show notes, I'll have a, a link to that. You want to check that out. We grade every neighborhood in Cleveland A to F scale based on risk. Now, something that I've noticed from a lot of folks, they seem to get confused by this. Now, Newburgh Heights is 44105. That's the zip code for Newburgh Heights. I consider Newburgh Heights to be a solid C-class rental neighborhood. However, that zip code also is shared by Cleveland. So if you're out there and you're finding properties and you see a property that's got a Cleveland 44105 address, I do not consider that to be a C-class zip code. I consider that to be uh, typically an F-class property. So uh, very different. All right, very different neighborhoods. We have two separate neighborhoods. Yes, there's the same zip code, but two separate neighborhoods. So keep that in mind. So the things I'm going to say about the neighborhood right now for this property, you know, 4508 Alpha, very different uh, if you found another property that had that zip code, but it was Cleveland proper. You know, Newburgh, it's a very small village, okay? I believe there's only like... 850, 860, I think it's under 1,000 properties uh, in the village of Newburgh Heights. I think it spans like 15 to 20 streets, and they have a ton of police, man. I think they have like 15 cops uh, working there just patrolling those like 15 to 20 streets. And they also have a pretty strict point of sale system. And that's gonna might come into play here with this property deeper in this analysis. I'll explain a little bit of that later. Um, but what that point of sale uh, does is it keeps the neighborhood values up because they're requiring people to fix up the exterior of their properties every time they sell. But we'll get into that in a little bit. Right now, what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is I want to read to you what the listing agent wrote about this property. I've done a freaking shit ton of deals with this uh, agent, too. He's a pretty solid dude. Uh, he's a realtor from a company called Plumtree. Um, so I, I'm very familiar working with this guy. We work together pretty well. We've done a lot of deals where he was on the sell side, I was on the buy side, and vice versa. So if you do put in an offer on this property, um, I would imagine this should be a pretty smooth transaction. <coughs> oh, just so you know, though, I, I know the dude because we've done a lot of deals. But, like, by no means does that mean, uh, you know, he's paying us to promote his properties on this show. This is... 100% unbiased. The other property that I'm going to show you has is a completely different realtor, one that I don't think I've ever met. Uh, this property just ha happened to particularly work for you. When I do these for you guys, no, this is totally unbiased. It's I just choose the property blindly based on like your needs. I don't really focus on who the other realtor is. We don't accept money from other realtors, uh, things of that nature. I'm not trying to grow any other Cleveland realtor's business. If he's out there selling duplexes in the Cleveland market, as far as I'm concerned, he's eating my lunch. So, you know, it's my full intention to eventually have it to where he don't get to list any duplexes because they all come to Holton Wise. And we're doing a pretty damn good job of taking that market share because we are the number one seller in the Cleveland market. So I just want to I just want to give you all that info. Make sure you know that, my man. But let's read, let's read what our guy from Plumtree wrote. 
Investors take note. Duplex with possible finished third floor unit in Newburgh Heights. This completely turnkey two-family features newer furnaces, new hot water tanks. The hot water tanks were installed in 2014 and 2018. Whole house insulation by USA, USA Insulation. Now, in a particular property like this, uh, your tenants are going to pay their heating bills, so it's not going to affect your cost. But it, you know, theoretically, it's a selling feature. You know, my leasing team they could tell that to the tenants, and the tenants should realize, oh, that means my heating costs will be lower. So, you know, their overall uh, residency cost is going to be a little bit lower based on something you're not making any money off of. So you could, you know, increase that rent up a little bit, offset that cost, or, you know, at the very least, they'll see it's cheaper than a comparable property because their heating cost is lower and perhaps you'll see lower turnover. So that's, that's a good thing for you, even though you're not directly paying it. The roof replaced in 2007. That's awesome. Roofs are going to last 30 years here in this market. So that roof's like, what, 12 years old? So you have about 18 years before you need to worry about spending five or six grand to replace a roof. So that's good. Garage roof replaced in 2019. That is good because that's something that comes up on the POS a lot. Uh, more on that later. <clears throat> Updated electrical service and spacious clean units. With a small amount of work, the third floor could... Uh, be added to the second floor or made into a decent sized third unit, which it, with its own kitchen and bath already in place. Lots to love here. Plus, the seller has kept up with the city compliance to make this a smooth transition for the next owner. Don't let this opportunity slip past. Now, that's key, right? This is this that's very key to our strategy here. Uh, the seller has kept up with the city compliance to make this a smooth transition for the next owner. That's going to factor in uh, with our, you know, our bidding strategy. Quickly, before I get to that, I want to show you what you're going to get in rent right now. Currently, right now, we have uh, two units occupied, a 2-1 and a 2-1. One's being rented for $590, the other's being rented for $600. So you're bringing in $1,190 a month currently. There is a kitchen and a bath in that third floor, and this agent is suggesting you can do one of two things. Uh, one, you can make it a third unit, which I know your initial reaction, Oliver, you're probably excited by that because you said, hey, if I can't get a quad, at least try to give me a triplex. Uh, I don't want you to create it into a third unit. I want you to do the second thing that that agent suggested, which is um, make that like a master suite and attach it to the second floor unit. The reason for this is to actually make them legal third units we need two forms of egress like two exits and this property is not set up for that so it actually be cost prohibitive like we would literally need to like that's like when you see uh, like exterior porches and stuff coming out of the, the third floor plus we would need to file for permits and uh, <clears throat> you know building code um, reviews and all that stuff. You got to separate the the utilities into a third third set of utilities, and then what you're going to get is you're only going to get a tenant who's paying like probably 450 or so in rent. If you had the opportunity to buy one of these properties and they had a, a unit already grandfathered in uh, or is already legally compliant, I'd say, hey man, that's great. That's a sweet bonus. Get that extra 450 a month. But in this particular case, the cost and the effort to do that is not going to be worth it what you'd really want to do is just attach this to that second floor unit and get extra rent because i'm going to run through all of your numbers here uh, based on the current rents because that's what you're going to pick it up at but dude we have a lot of rent left on the table here now if you took that third unit and uh you know just added that third floor into the second unit instead of renting it for 590 a month you could be renting that for 800 a month. And downstairs, you know, it's currently rented at 600, but you know, we put premium upgrades in there after a turnover. You know, we got the insulation in this property. If people have like lower bills, you know, for their heating, you could easily rent that for 750. So, you know, instead of bringing in 1190 a month, we could add an additional 360 bucks a month. Uh, going forward, but I'm going to run the numbers based on what is currently available to me. Now, let's uh, go over the pictures quickly so you could just see what we're looking at. Okay, see all the photos there. Looks pretty nice. You could see the uh, furnaces here. They're both uh, relatively newer. These are definitely not newer furnaces. Those are those two hot water tanks. One was four years old. One was one year old. You got the up down. So like I said, you don't have three sets of utilities. Uh, so definitely the idea is not to try to convert to a third unit. Just too cost prohibitive. Keep it as a nice duplex. 
okay? As you see, everything in the little neighborhood here, right? Like, this is all pretty clean. You don't see, like, peeling paint, things of that nature. You know, if you're in Cleveland, you might start to see some of that stuff because they don't have point of sale. And that's why I keep referencing that point of sale. And this, by the way, this is your garage. They just said that they replaced that roof a couple years ago. Now, this is what is called a lean-to garage. Now, if I'm selling you a property in Cleveland, like the next, uh, the next property I have for you, lean-to garages in these neighborhoods for these old homes, you know, these homes are all about 100 years old, they're typically irrelevant and they don't matter as far as uh, actually getting tenants in there. So if you see some like 100-year-old lean-to garages and they're all beat up, typically what we do here at Holton Wise is we just remove the garage. We just tear it down. It's not worth it to fix it up. Uh, but in a city like Newburgh Heights that does have a point of sale, and let me just get into all that point of sale stuff right now. Point of uh, POS or point of sale, what that means is every single time someone sells a property in the city of Newburgh Heights, the city has to come out, they inspect the entire property, and they issue violations. Now, the seller can either clear those violations prior to title transfer, or the buyer can put up money in escrow and take on those violations themselves. And then after it closes, they could use separate money to fix all those violations. And then the city comes out, inspects everything, and then and only then will they give them back the money they put in escrow. Now, you get a specific time period to do this to the city's satisfaction. And if you don't do it, you could go to court. You could even get uh, you know fines, building code violations. Technically, these are minor misdemeanors, so you could technically face jail time. I've never really seen anybody do that, but you know it, it, do, it does happen uh, in, in the world. So these violations are kind of a big deal. Um, and what they do is they cite these garages all the time. So the, the fact that the owner has just replaced that lean-to garage roof is a very big selling point right now because the city was going to jam you with that type of cost. Now, if this was in Cleveland, that wouldn't really matter. And that also leads me to what I said earlier, what I touched on earlier, was our bidding strategy. Remember, uh, let me pull this down. What the agent had said is, <clears throat> plus the seller has kept up with the city compliance to make this a smooth transition for the next owner. To me, what that means, because by the way, they, they have not ordered their point of sale yet. Uh, I didn't mention that earlier. Today is September 3rd, right? We just got back from Labor Day. But the point of sale is actually scheduled on September 9th. So the owner hasn't seen their list of violations just yet. But they're more or less conveying to me that, hey, we expect it to be very minimal. And if there is anything, I believe you should have the seller as a contingency of our offer go ahead and agree to clear that before we close because the purchase price on this is 77500 And those rents, as I mentioned, we got a lot of meat on the bone to increase them, but they're kind of low. So for bidding strategy here, I think offering them, you know, around 77500 we're not going to start there. We're probably going to start at like 70, 71, 72, somewhere in there. And we're going to ask that they, uh, you know, the contingency, of course, will be in our inspection, your appraisal, and then another contingency will be that the seller delivers a clear point of sale inspection to you prior to closing. And the fact that they're conveying that, hey, we kept this up, you know, the, the owner's constantly doing work, working with the city, I would say they're going to be open to that. So that's, that's why I think a lot of the things they said in their description and the fact that they fixed up that lean-to roof, uh, th those are big deals for you. Let's just go into some more of the photos before I get into all the numbers. All right, we've seen the outside. Furnaces, hot water tanks. Okay, got the old lean-to garage, but it's in good shape. Okay, just some more side, you know, more side of the house here. Just more exterior of the home. Home looks to be in pretty darn good shape, and that is it. So getting into the numbers, pulling the chart up for you. We're going to be bringing in $1,190 a month as far as anticipated average cost. Repairs and maintenance, go ahead and pencil in $59 there. Vacancy and non-payment of rent, pencil in another $59. CapEx, pencil in another $59. Now, a lot of the CapEx stuff is already in great shape. You know, we're penciling in $59. We're going to save $708 a year for when you have to replace this stuff, but we already know. 
okay, that that roof, what was that roof, 2007, that roof's only, uh, what, 12 years old, so you're not going to have to spend any money on that roof, most likely, for another 18 years, so that's, you know, some additional cash flow. Hot water tanks, one was, uh, what, four or five years old, the other was one year old, those last you about 15 years, they're going to cost $1,000 to replace, but those are at the beginning of their life cycles. The electrical's already updated, uh, those furnaces, they're in... Uh, newer condition. We don't know the exact age, but just based on looking at them, I would say they're under 10 years old, and we have th about 30 years of expected life there. So this thing is in really, really good condition. So yeah, we're going to still factor in 708 for those items because eventually you're going to pay for them, but you're not going to have any big bills coming up. Taxes, 178 a month. Insurance should be 80 bucks a month, roughly. Um, <clears throat> if you don't already know, click the show notes below. Uh, I have a link to our insurance company, my associate Kevin. He will take care of you, get you a quote. We should be able to insure this building on a nice, solid landlord policy for about 80 bucks a month. Our insurance company, we only got one goal in mind, guys. We understand that all of our clients are real estate investors. All you guys care about is your cash flow. So what we do is we shop your property around to all the various providers, and we broker the best possible deal for you. So we should be able to insure this bad boy for about 80 bucks a month. Water and sewer should be 150 bucks a month on average. Lawn care, multifamily, so you got to have Holton Wise do the lawn care, so that should average out to 44 bucks a month. We're going to cut it 16 to 18 times throughout the year, right? We're not cutting when there's three feet of snow in January, uh, but we only charge about 33 bucks a cut, so it averages out to 44 a month. And then lastly, you got your PM fees to us for doing all this for you. Of course, we don't work for free. That should be 119 a month. So you're bringing in right now, currently today. 1,190 bucks a month. Your total expenses on average should be 744. And in all reality, those are probably a lot less because again, you're not going to have any CapEx for a long time. But just conservatively, that gives you an estimate NOI 446 a month or $5,347 a year. Now, Oliver, I know you want to do the bird deal, right? But again, your budget was too small. There's just nothing we can do in this market to pick you up a nice multifamily home with low risk, no Section 8, uh, allow you to spend all of your 50K and then refi it out and get that 50K back. It's just not going to happen. It's too low. Uh, you would probably need to double, if not triple. More likely, you need to triple that to, to have a chance to do that. So what I did is I wanted to stretch that 50K super far. Um, and we got some properties here with some upside. So if we just go ahead and just go in and pay 77500 that's how I ran the numbers. But I, you know, we're going to try to get it even lower than that, you know, somewhere in the 70s. But assuming we did it at 77500 you're going to go ahead and only have to put down 19375 You're going to finance the other 58125 right out the gate. With the conservative stuff I have put together, Paying all of your operating expenses, you know, and paying your mortgage payment at $294 a month, you should still currently cash flow $152 a month out of this property. That's $18.19 a year. That is a 9.4% cash on cash return with everything exactly how it is today. So that's going to leave you with roughly 30 k to go towards your next investment. You're currently making 9.4% on your money. But remember, biggest thing here. I don't recommend doing this necessarily right now. I don't think it makes sense to create artificial turnover, but that second floor unit, they're paying you $590. I think it's smart to go ahead, take it over, keep their rent similar, maybe just do small increases for the next year or two. But know that when that unit does turn over, what we got to do, we got to take that third floor unit. We'll combine that with the second floor unit. At that point, we have 800 bucks a month coming into you easily. You know, maybe we'll spend five to $10,000 at that time renovating that unit, making it nice, putting in premium upgrades, combining it so you have a nice three-bedroom, one-bath, master suite, all that stuff. It'll be nice. You'll be bringing in 800 a month. And then your downstairs unit, 2-1, you know, they're just missing the ball here. 600 is too low. So I say we keep slowly increasing that tenant's rent up. Uh, eventually, you should be able to get that up to 750 a month with very minor alterations to that unit. So... 1,190 is the current rent, but we can tack on an additional 360 to that. Tommy, what is that on the net? How much is that? Let me see here. Carry the one. I got it. That would be for 1550 a month, right? 
So don't look at this as just you're picking up 1,190 bucks a month in rent. We do a little bit of work over a couple years. You could be bringing in $1,550 a month. And with that kind of rent roll in this particular neighborhood, just so you know, today, if I had $1,550 a month in the property set up exactly how I just told you about, I would sell that for $100,000 easily. So there's a little value at play to that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to another commercial break, and then I'm going to get into the second property that I've identified for you. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Once you've placed a tenant, there's no need to make trips to the bank anymore because with Rent Tech Direct, you can now accept rent payments via ACH. This automatically transfers money from your tenant's bank account directly to yours, using the same technology that banks do to collect auto and mortgage payments. Your tenants can even log in and make payments with their web browser or their phone. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. All right, Oliver, welcome back. Let's get right into the second duplex I found for you. This one, 10014 Elmira Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Now, this is Cleveland proper. It's on the west side. This is another C-class neighborhood in Cleveland. Let me just show you all the photos. This one is listed by another realtor. Uh, this is a guy out of a company called Westway Realty. Just a nice classic Cleveland duplex built in the same time period as the one in Newburgh. Now, you got some dated stuff in the units, but they this is fully occupied. So that's not too big of a deal. Real quick, let me go back. Um, just so you know, this is probably a furnace built in, I would say, probably the 80s. I would assume the other one is about the same age. I don't have any info on that one. Hot water tanks. I would say this gray one right here. This one right here, I would say, is probably about five or so years old. I would say this one's probably about 10-ish, if I had to guess. Remember, those hot water tanks, they're going to last about 15 years, and they're going to cost you about 1000 bucks to replace. Uh, those furnaces, they last 30, 40 years, and they'll be about $3,000 to replace. Moving on, just typical classic layout. You got your living room, dining room. Right here is going to be your kitchen. Then on the sides, you got your bedrooms with your bathroom in the middle. This is uh, more or less a standard layout for these properties. We literally have hundreds uh, of duplexes with this exact same layout. It's pretty nice. You know, at turnover, all you really want to do is paint the walls gray. Um, you could paint the trim white, or you could leave this natural wood. It appears to be in pretty good shape. We like the white with the gray, but if the trim is really, really nice, sometimes we'll leave it. Um, of course, the carpet, we'll probably want to get rid of that, and then we'll want to update the kitchen to increase rents, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, here's the other unit. Woo, check out those kitchen cabinets. Man, maybe we'll just leave those. What is that? Is that like a teal blue? Hot damn. All right. Rock and roll, man. Okay. You got the... This is your third floor. Uh, it would be cost prohibitive to do anything in this fl third floor unit, just so you know. So we're not going to try uh, to make like a master suite like we did. we're going to try with the other one uh, because you're just too raw. It just wouldn't make any sense. So you'll just leave that space. Okay. Bathroom. Bathroom will need some cosmetic updates at the next turnover. Um, updated electric panels. Another shot of your furnaces. Another shot of outside. Now, talked about this earlier. This is a great example. Right here is where there used to be a 100-year-old lean-to garage. But this is in Cleveland. In Cleveland proper, there are no point-of-sale inspections. So what do you see right here? 
you don't see a garage because obviously uh, the previous landlord or one of the landlords in the last 20, 30 years, whoever it was, they simply just tore it down because it's not going to add much to the rental value. Like the rents that I'm going to give you for the market rents, if you built a garage, it's not going to increase those. So it doesn't really make sense. So when these older garages, if they start to get dilapidated, it's cheaper, easier, just get rid of them unless you're in a city that's going to require you to keep them like Newburgh Heights. Cleveland doesn't do that, though, so garage, they just took it out. doesn't matter. And that's it. That is the property. So, <coughs> Oliver, I said that you can take your 50K and you could actually buy both of these. And you can because this property is listed by that Westway Realtor for only $84,900. This has some uh, other value-add component to it as well. Going over the rent roll currently, they are getting low-ass rents, man. Five eighty-five for each of these units, so a total of one thousand one hundred seventy bucks a month, or fourteen grand a year. Now, at turnover. Same thing with the last property. We want to slowly increase their rents as we uh, you know, continue operating this property. You don't want to go right to market because I think you'll create turnovers immediately. The better plan would be to you know, just when they do turn, then spend the money putting in the premium upgrades, make them nice, you know, go with that gray paint, update those kitchens and those baths and each of those units, and then we'll be able to get seven fifty a unit for you. So you'll be able to get uh, was that fifteen hundred dollars a month out of this? But right now you're only bringing in one thousand one hundred seventy. But that's going to be pretty cool because what that could do with a price point of eighty four thousand nine hundred, that might allow us to get in and negotiate a little bit harder and maybe pick this up somewhere in the seventies. Because some other investors they might just simply run those numbers and they'll see like oh five eighty five per unit. That's really not that much rent I want to offer low. What they don't understand is these are not $585 units. These are $750 units. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of these exact duplexes in these exact neighborhoods in my portfolio. I guarantee you, with a premium upgrade package, we are getting you $750 for these units without a problem. And here's the cool thing. You don't have to immediately kick those tenants out and spend five, six, seven k upgrading those kitchens and baths uh, right now. You don't have to do that because the property is still going to cash flow when you acquire it. Just going through the numbers, you know, we'll go through this quickly because it's more or less a similar, almost exactly the same product as we just went over with the one in Newburgh Heights. But your repairs, vacancy, CapEx, all pretty close, right? 58 bucks a month is the estimate I did here. The taxes, because this is Cleveland proper, they're a little bit cheaper, so it's only going to be 155 a month. Insurance, this will be another $80 thing. Again, click the show notes below. Uh, my associate, Kevin, he will handle your bidding for you. We should be able to insure this on a nice landlord policy for 80 bucks a month. Water sewer, you know, same thing. We're gonna, it's the same kind of property, so we're going to estimate the same 150. Lawn care, same thing, 44, and the rent's slightly lower here. So, you know, the PM fee, instead of 119 a month, it'll be 117 a month. So that brings you the total average estimated expense every month of 720. So because the taxes were a little bit uh, lower, that leads you with a little bit higher NOI than the last property, 450 a month. Now, Going in even further, this is the cool thing because I told you you can take your 50K and you could buy both of these. We're going to get you four rental income checks. Currently, as it sits, the property is a 6.4 cap, but we know that you're sitting on a ton of money here because 585, these are $750 units, hands down. So, right now, though, with the super low rents, if you bought it at the list price, which because those rents are so low, I don't even think you're going to have to, you're only going to need to put down $21,225. you will take out a $63,000 mortgage. Your payment will be three twenty-two. dollars That's going to lead you with $128 a month in free cash flow after covering all those expenses, saving all that money. That's a 7.3% return on your money right now. But don't forget... We have fifteen hundred dollars a month, or fifteen, uh, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars a month is what we can actually be bringing in. So that's an additional, what is that? Twelve seventy, thirteen seventy, fourteen seventy. That's an additional uh, three hundred and thirty dollars a month. So between the two properties, let me see your other one on the table right now that these sellers are leaving out. We got three thirty for this one, and then three sixty for that one. 
So, of course, that is $690 a month. And that's why getting these analysis are so important. A lot of people might look at these properties, run their numbers, just like I have, see the 7.3% and the 9.4% cash on cash return, but they have no idea that there is still an additional $690 a month on the table. And yeah, the cool thing is, right, you buy alpha, you're under 20K out of pocket. You buy this one, you're at 21K. So that's going to be, you know, $41,500, right? So now you've got $8,500 of free cash flow left over. You could save that for the third property, or when you do get turnovers, you can utilize that. Now, this one on Elmira. Once we get 750 and 750, you know, with the premium upgrades, this is another one. I am selling this thing. I'm selling duplexes like that with that rent roll for $100,000 easily. Now, with it currently sitting at 84.9, but those rents so damn low, I think we can go in kind of aggressive. I would probably start the bidding on this one the same way I'd want to start the bidding on the alpha property. I would say we started off in the low 70s and see where we go. Because you know there's an additional $330 on the table at this property, but I don't know if all the other buyers in the marketplace necessarily know that. So I say we get aggressive. And if you, you could honestly pay list price for both of these and they'd both be great deals, but I believe utilizing myself and my team of admins and assistants, we could negotiate a little bit of a discount. You know, my goal would be to get you anywhere between a total of five to ten thousand dollars off of the advertised prices. In total, not on each property. I don't think I'm gonna get you ten grand off of the like I don't think I'm gonna get you alpha for sixty seven and I'm gonna get you this one for seventy four nine. I'm saying in total I believe we can get you up roughly five to ten thousand dollars off of the advertised list prices uh, by us negotiating aggressively on your behalf. So, Oliver, uh, that you know, that's my plan for you. This I think is the best use of your money right now to get you to your goal of having your wife retire and stay home with those children. I understand, you know, you came into this hoping that you can just take that 50K, pick something up in this criteria, refi it out, and get to start over with your 50K. Unfortunately, that's just not possible in today's marketplace. Um, but we're able to hit all of your other criteria, give you properties that are cash flowing really well right now, leave you with 8500 bucks in your pocket still. You got money left on the table, you know, almost $700 a month in money that you could capture, but you don't have to spend that money trying to renovate stuff right now, removing tenants. You're going to continue to grow your money, put more savings, you know, back into your piggy bank there, take all that free cash flow and take that 8500 left over and build that up to save for the third one. Okay, because you only need to get about 20K and then you can get your third one. So if you already have 85 and you're cash flowing, what is that after everything? 15 on the one, 18 on the other. I mean, in a couple years here, and then if you put some additional savings from you guys' income, we'll get you to that 20K pretty quickly and then you can buy the third property. Uh, or maybe instead of um, you know trying to buy something when you get that 20k, if you come into some more money or anything of that nature, you might be able to do a bird deal. But we definitely need you to increase that budget. Like I wouldn't want you to think that you can get a bird deal that'll meet all your other criteria for anything less than a hundred thousand dollars. Probably you know 150 would probably be a safer bet. Um, so if we're just gonna play with a low amount of money, I would say you know a strategy like I've laid out for you today with these two properties would be the best use of your funds and that'll be the quickest fastest and uh, most profitable way that we can get you to those nine residential mortgages replace that income that your wife is currently making from her w-2 job and allow her to retire so she could stay at home with those kiddos you guys are planning on having that is all i've got for you today oliver uh if you want to make an offer on one or both of these properties and have uh, myself and my personal team of assistants and administrators uh, assist you, just shoot us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and uh, we'll wa walk you through the process of making an offer. We'll make them contingent on appraisals, inspections. We'll try to get you that clear POS uh, at the Newberg property, and we'll walk you through that whole process. For everyone else out there who's watching Oliver's video, these properties are no longer available. As I said, right now, as I talk to you, it's the day after Labor Day. 
Oliver has had access to these videos since then. You guys are probably watching this, I would assume, in October or November. When you purchase an MLS search and analysis show from us, you get it in a private link till the properties are no longer available. Um, so you are the only person who has access to the data we give you while the deal is still active. Once the deals are closed, we then release them publicly so everyone else can learn. If you want to buy your own MLS search and analysis show, all you got to do is go to HoltonWise.com, click on the Property Search for Sale tab. By the way, this is the Investment Properties for Sale show tab. We also are the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland market. So you want to click that. You could see all of our shows. These are all the properties that we are selling. So a lot of this information that uh, you would have to pay for if you're trying to buy a property that we are not selling, you'll get all of that free. But know uh, that we're pretty damn popular. So usually when the properties are on this show, we usually get about 20 offers per property. So if you're looking for more, more properties, more opportunities, a lot of people gravitate to this show. MLS search and analysis show. Here are the costs. These are all the products. You can do what Oliver did. You can set it up where you just give me your criteria and you can do one property or you can do multiple properties. He chose multiple, obviously, which is by far the better deal because if you just get the one property, it really sucks. We make the video and then you end up getting outbid by another buyer because, you know, these are on the open market. Um, so Holton Wise isn't selling them to other folks, but there are 5,000 other realtors out here in Cleveland that are trying to sell these. So you do run in the risk of getting outbid on your the property that you're really interested in. So I always recommend people get the two property package um, because it gives you two options, right? You can compare and contrast, and then if you miss out on one deal, you have a backup deal. So your odds of actually taking down a deal are much better. Uh, so you guys want to go ahead and pick that up and you'll get a customized analysis just like this. But before you do that, what you probably want to do to save yourself some money is go down here. These are a new product. These are the real-time MLS feeds. I spoke earlier about 44105, okay? Newburgh Heights 44105, it's a C-class area. But if it was a property in Newburgh or a property in Cleveland with the same zip code 44105, that would be an F-class area. So before you spend a ton of money comparatively, uh, you know, the MLS search analysis purchase your own show is about, you know, what is it? almost 20 to 30 times more than these real-time MLS feeds. So before you spend all of that money uh, finding a property that you like in, say, 44105 that you think is a C, and then you spend that money and I just say, hey, man, just so you know, this is an F-class property, and your whole deal, your whole strategy, it's up in smoke. What you want to do, get these real-time MLS feeds for what you're interested in. If you want C-class multifamily, we have that for you. If you want A-class, B-class, whatever it is, I've already broken it down. I've already categorized it for you guys based upon my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. So if you're interested in C-class multifamily, the only thing you're going to see there is C-class multifamily. And another benefit, which is probably an even bigger benefit than that, this is my direct MLS access, so if you're currently like looking at Zillow or Truly or Ritzler.com, stuff like that, you're getting the data much uh, slower than I actually get the data. Like as a broker, I get the data instantly. So the moment another realtor in Cleveland posts this to the MLS, I immediately know about it, and because I'm giving you my access, you'll immediately know about it. Whereas websites like Zillow, Truly, or Realtor.com, stuff like that, it typically takes several days for all of that data to aggregate to their website and show up to you. So by the time you're seeing it, you're late to the party. All of my clients who have the real-time MLS feeds have already known about these deals for three, four days, and they've had the opportunity to bid on these properties. So those are products that I think make sense for Oliver and make sense for anybody else who's watching this show. That's all I've got for you on today's episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. If this is the first time you've ever seen Holton Wise TV or ever seen anything that we do here, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, hold and wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors, and 
all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Property management is a lot more than just placing tenants and collecting rent. Who you work with can be as or even more important than the properties themselves. With over 60 years of cumulative experience, the principles of Evergrow Property Management have one of the most tried and tested property management businesses in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Armed with the latest technology and a full range of property management services, including property evaluations, tenant screening, rent collection, maintenance, legal compliance, and eviction services. Evergrow Property Management is the top property management choice of rental property owners, turnkey providers, and real estate agents in the Indianapolis, Indiana market. Visit evergrowpm.com for more information. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.